Turkey is on the geography blessed with natural beauties and has been the focus of attention of entire world throughout human history. It is possible to find the footsteps of all of human history on this mysterious lens, having been home to a numerous civilizations, witnessed the emergence of the three divine religions. Turkish Airlines has daily direct flights to Istanbul from a number of cities in all continents. Turkey, surrounded by warm sandy beaches on three sides, is decorated with fertile lands and snow-white hills between the seas. Artists, being fed by the natural beauties on these lands, also nurture these lands by the works they created. Sporting activities in Turkey also show a great diversity. Taking the advantage of geographical opportunities, millions of local and foreign athletes carry out different sports on these lands. For centuries, rich artistic and cultural activities have been an integral part of life. Colorful nightlife in different venues and rich musical kinds and diverse palatal delights address the different pleasures. Being as exotic as East and as modern as West, Turkey also has the unique geological structure. While this geological structure sometimes provides the conveniences to Turkey, developing with a big momentum, it also releases great difficulties at other times. The rock mechanics and rock engineering has a special significance for the construction and mining industries in the country, where almost all types of rock formation can be found. The rock engineers provide their labor and knowledge for newly built highways, dams, high-speed railway, bridge construction, excavations for mining operations and rapidly developing settlements, as well as for historical buildings which should be preserved. Cappadocia will be the region to host the Eurac 2016, well known worldwide by its historic rock formations and typical earth formations. Katbatukya, which means land of lovely horses, was the first known name of Cappadocia given by the Persians. Other civilizations are as follows. The first settlement of the Neolithic Age in Cappadocia, Hittites, Dark Ages. Next came the Phrygians, the Kingdom of Cappadocia, the Roman Age, the Byzantines, the Seljuks, the Mongolian and Turkish Beyliks, and more recently the Ottoman Empire. Cappadocia is a region which has been the cradle of many civilizations. This region is world famous with its peerless natural rock formations as well as being rich in history as the settlement location of the early Christians. Wind, climate, mechanical weathering, rain, snow and rivers cause the erosion giving to Cappadocia its unusual and characteristic landforms. Ferruginies have been formed as the result of the erosion of these tough layers, sculpted by wind and flood water running down on the slopes of the valleys. Water has found its way through the valleys, creating cracks and ruptures in the hard rock. The types of ferruginies formed mainly by erosion in Cappadocia are the ones with caps, the cones, the mushroom forms, the pillars and the pointed rocks. In addition to fairy chimneys, the interesting landforms, mainly formed by rainwater, also give a particular and beautiful character to the region. The environmental and the anthropological factors of the Cappadocia region have been the main reasons for extensive subsurface settlement and multipurpose use in the past and present. In addition, thermal insulation properties of the Cappadocian tufts make these rocks suitable for use in underground openings. As well as being an important Christian settlement and religious center between the 9th and 13th centuries, the rock settlements of Zelve were also the home to the first seminaries for the priests. In addition, there's a mill, 
a mosque and a tunnel which connects two valleys. People lived there until 1952. In Göreme, between the 4th and 13th centuries, growing communities hollowed dwellings, churches and chapels in the soft Cappadocian tufts. Due to its morphological formation, the Uhlara Valley was suitably secluded and was an appropriate place for monks and priests to worship and to being a hideaway and defense location during times of war and invasion. There are 23 known large-scale underground cities in the Cappadocia region. Even today, underground openings of different sizes and shapes in the Cappadocia region are being used for housing, storing foods, mushroom plantations, ceramic plants, pigeonholes for natural fertilizer in a limited extent compared to the past use. The number of modern hotels and restaurants hollowed in tufts has also considerably increased in recent years. The Cappadocia, including historical and modern rock structures, is also a rock engineering laboratory with evidences of some instability problems and different rock behaviors. Sliding failures along discontinuity surfaces and rock falls are one of the rock engineering problems threatening the cliff settlements in Cappadocia. Problems of bending and toppling of blocks particularly occur at locations where the pillars left in the rock-hewn openings fail and or when the toe of slopes is eroded by water or wind effect. Spelling and slabbing associated with yielding mainly occur as a result of changes in stress state due to toe erosion, thermal loading due to freezing thawing and property changes due to cyclic wetting and drying processes in cliffs and semi-underground openings. Shear failures through pillars left in historical openings is also another rock engineering problem. Deformations of underground openings in Cappadocia continue for a considerable period of time. These are mainly due to the degradation of deformability and strength characteristics of the soft tufts with time. Particularly collapse of some ferry chimneys and some openings are the typical examples for this behavior. Intersection of some progressive cracks depending on the change in stress concentrations with the doors or windows of the openings results in the formation of unstable rock blocks which threaten the stability. Having position above all Cappadocia's view, Urgup is the home to thousands of tourists every year where you can visit these special places. A number of symposia are organized every year in Urgup where you can provide your own needs. Why large luxury hotels are used for congresses and symposia, the tourists who want to experience a different holiday in a unique location prefer hotels and restaurants carved in soft Cappadocian tufts. <laughs> <laughs>